Hi, I'm Robin, and this is Holstein House. <laughs> um, today, what I want to do is share with you the results, as I find them out as well, of uh, water glassing some eggs that I did last year. It's been almost a year to the day, uh, the 4th of November, and today is like the, I don't know, it's the 14th of October, but I have time to do it today. I want to get it, get it done just in case. Um, the chickens are starting to, well, actually for a while now, the girls have not been laying very well as the day gets shorter and my ducks have stopped altogether. So um, I have to start thinking about, you know, what am I going to do this winter for eggs if, you know, if I run out? Because I sell some of them too, and I'm going to have to back off that a little bit so that our household has enough eggs too. Um, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to show you the eggs that I put up and the fresh eggs and then we're gonna scramble them we'll be well we'll wash them and all that stuff but we'll scramble them up and give them a smell and a taste and a look and and see how they turned out so let's get to it so what we have here we have uh some fresh eggs these are yesterday's eggs they haven't been cleaned yet. They're nice and pretty and uh, gorgeous looking. Um, Easter eggers. I, I love my different colored eggs. I don't have any blue ones. I'd like to get some uh, a hand that lays some blue eggs. These are the eggs that I put up last year. Now, what we have here is a mixture of uh, Mrs. Wage's pickling lime um, and three ounces to a quart of water. And so you, you put that, and I, I used a quart mason jar and put a little lid on it, shook it up real good. And tipped, this is a half gallon jar. And when I loaded this, the first layer, I tipped this jar on its side. And I eased the eggs in with a silicone tipped set of tongs, like these, so that it was easy to pick up the eggs direct them into the jar, and stack that first row so that um, so that, that first row was standing up, which made the next row, and after I did that, I eased the jar back up and put some water, lime water on them and then added each additional row. And you'll see I've really only got about three rows. You need uh, at least an inch of water above, or well, lime water, above the eggs. So you don't want any part of the egg exposed to what little bit of air is in here. Actually, there's been some evaporation. I don't know if you can see it or not. There's a line right about here where the, uh, the lime used to sit and is, it's evaporated a little bit, even though this lid has a plastic or a silicone seal in it. So you see the water, and, and when I did, I did that, I filled this jar up, I put the cap on, and I took it directly down to my basement and put it on the shelf, and that's where it's been. And I, then I didn't touch it anymore. You don't shake it, you don't do anything after you put it up. But you have to be careful handling it because they can crack in the inside here if you're very rough with them. All right, so what we're going to do first, we'll take the lid off, or cap, I guess I should call it. And there's, it's pretty clean. And the lime, it was a, a solid, uh, there's a little film on the top. It was solid all across. Me bringing it upstairs caused it to bounce around a little bit and crack. But so there's that. And it doesn't smell bad. It just smells like water. It doesn't look bad. I don't see any cracks. I don't see any anything that makes me think an egg is, is broken in there and maybe been leaking or anything. Because you'll have that. You'll have that. Some eggs will have small fissures in them. And then when you put them up, they crack over time as the lime water seeps in. All right. Well, so far they look fine. I'm going to use the tongs to lift one out. Let me get my paper towel. And then I'm going to rinse it. I have to rinse it very well and um, to get that lime off there because you don't want that lime in your food. And when you uh, crack the egg, if you don't have it 
clear very well. That lime will get into your food. Now, see this? That's just a little lime. That's just a little uh, where there's been some evaporation and the lime, uh, lime has come to the top and settled. So I'm going to not walk in front of you. So I'm going to walk behind you. And turn it around just a tad so you can see me wash this egg. And I'm going to use cool water. And I'm going to rinse it really well for several seconds. Can you see? I don't like oh, you can't see me. Do it this way. I'm going to my wash water. So I'm trying to get you know, any residue of lime off there. The shell feels a little rough, uh, not too bad, it's not slick, um, kind of gritty, I don't want to say gritty, but it's just a little rough, it's not a smooth egg. Walk behind you again. Get another piece of paper towel and dry this up some more. Turn you back around so you can see better. Because I want this about as dry as I can get uh, to compare to the fresh egg. And you know, lime is caustic. I believe it will. Not good for you, not to like ingest, but as a preservative, it's supposed to be pretty good. And I'll tell you, this is the first batch I've done. I've got two more half gallon jars downstairs, <coughs> just like these. Okay, so now this feels fairly smooth. There's no smell other than the lime. There's a fresh, I don't know how to, almost soapy smell to it. So that's a, uh, a uh, uh, leghorn egg. So I'll compare it with another leghorn egg, which is this one. It's a little smaller because it's, they're, well, it's not too much smaller, is it? But this is a yesterday's egg, so it's just been, <sighs> that clock. You would think I would do better every video, but anyway. All right, so this is the fresh egg, this is the lime egg. I'm gonna move them over here. And this being the fresh egg, we will crack it first. And put it in this little dish. And show you Sure, you've seen fresh eggs before. Oops, there we go. It's gorgeous yellow. The the albumen is white, is clear as can be. There's a there's a little bit of slushiness in there, right about there. I don't know if you can see it or not. But it's a gorgeous round, beautiful yellow egg. That's the fresh one. Now this is the one that was limed. Feels a little tougher. I don't think the yellow broke, but it's stuck. It's stuck pretty hard right about there. I don't know if you can see that or not. So here's the lime egg, and here's the fresh egg, the insides of them. There is a scent. It's not like a rotten egg smell, but it is, it's not a fresh egg smell. Here's the egg itself.
the egg white has a little cloudiness here. The yellow is still pretty yellow. It doesn't have a bad smell. The fingers are really sticky from it though. That's the lime egg. I'm gonna wash my hands off here. Kind of really sticky, but the white of that egg is extra sticky. I may I may crack one more. Let me crack one more. Let me get another dish. you and rinse it. That's the same way I did the other one. Sorry about all these delays. I really had hoped this would be a much quicker video. Let me get a piece of paper towel here and dry this off. I'm concerned about that little bit of haziness. There may not be anything, any problem with it. I just want to try another egg because, like I told you, this is the first batch that I've ever done. Oh, I do hope that, I think there's a dozen in there. I do hope they're not all ruined. There's been uh, debate out in the internet world about whether this is a good way to preserve eggs. So, you know, that's our second uh, white limed egg. Again, it feels a little... Oh, I busted the yolk right straight off. Oh, and it's very thin. Hmm. So there's that one. I stuck my thumb through the yolk. Now, this one does not have the same scent. So I'm not going to fix this one because that one has a little off smell. This one does not. But it is thinner, much thinner, and obviously the, the yolk busted immediately. I mean, I'm still got it on my thumb uh, just as soon as I cracked it. But let us get another paper towel not being very environmentally friendly today. Let's um, heat up a pan. And scramble. I'll scramble this one first because it's right here and it's already so that's very, very thin. Very thin. A little olive oil. I use olive oil all the time. That, and I've been using a lot of coconut oil, too. Um, coconut oil is supposed to have a few healthier properties to it. And, uh, come on, coat that little spot. There we go. And then we'll put the other egg in, in this one. Now it makes me want to <laughs> break even more eggs to see what's going on in there. But I'll wait. All right, we should be hot enough now. Oh, can you see over here? Make sure you can see. No salt, no pepper, no nothing. Just a scrambled up the egg.
Doesn't smell bad. It smells just like an egg. Although I do like a little salt in my egg. I don't want to put it in there right now. Because I don't want to change it. I want, to I want both eggs to be straight up. That's why I've got two skillets out in my not a professional video person kitchen. It's a real kitchen where real people cook and real people eat. And I don't do a lot of takeout. I don't do DoorDash. And have I ever done? Oh, I did. I did some of those delivery places when I was working. Sometimes I'd go off without my lunch, so I'd call. All right. And uh, I should have weighed these, shouldn't I? Well, I want to get extra scientific, I guess I should have. All right, there's that one. This is the fresh egg. Takes a little more to scramble it because it wasn't broke. I don't want to have to crack open a dozen eggs. Now, that's another reason that you don't crack all your eggs in the same uh, bowl. You crack your eggs in a, um, a separate bowl one at a time. When you're adding them to recipes or even if you're scrambling because if you get a hold of one that's not right bad or something plus you can dig the shell out easier so if i had dropped the shell in here i could dig it out if it'd be a bowl of four or five eggs for a big omelet then it would be harder to dig it out so the white of this fresh egg is not cooperating with the desire to chop it up and scramble it but that's all right Well, it wasn't quite as hot. I would be, get a big F in the scientific community for that one. Maybe even in the fancy cooking schools. Maybe it calls me to fail. And yeah, it's not the same skillet exactly. It's the same company. It's a copper bottom uh, Revere Wear stainless. And uh, the limed egg did stick a little more, but that may have been the pan's fault and not the. Because uh, once you um, once you burn up a, a skillet to making eggs, you you almost can never get it back to. So and like I said, it may it may not have been the the egg's fault. It could have been my fault. This is the one. This was the limed one that stuck quite a bit. This was the fresh one that didn't. But I wouldn't count that against it. So, I do everything on my stove top. You know, it's a shame I have shell, uh, counter space and stuff and I never use it. So this is the lined egg. It, it was thinner, much thinner, this one was. This one did not have an off-putting scent like that other one. I think that other one was bad. But that, again, you know, that's why you, you break them separately and you check them out before you automatically throw them in a recipe. I don't think I would eat a limed egg over easy. I think scrambled or cooking with it would be a ball. It smells good. Looks really looks good even though it was thin. Except for I need salt. Tastes just like a regular egg. Tastes pretty good. Just like an egg. So, oops, there's that one. And of course, the fresh egg. Gorgeous. I love my chickens. I don't have very many. And I can't eat all the eggs myself, so I sell a bunch. Mmm. So, the, um, the texture of the limed egg was a little thinner. A little, I don't want to say grainy because it wasn't like it had sand or anything in it, but... Um, the fresh egg is much firmer, 
much firmer taste or feel on the tongue. Beautiful egg. Tastes great. Just like an egg should. They both do, really. So I think the first one may have been bad. And again, that's why you crack them into these little dishes. And you can, it doesn't have to be one of these exact kind of dishes, but a dish that you can see. And, and a clear glass Pyrex type is probably the best. If you don't have a um, one of these little glasses, just use a, a drinking glass or something. The, the, the thing is that you want to be able to see in and you want to see what's going on with the egg. So we could see in, we could, I know it's hard on this camera, we could see a little, a little strangeness in the, uh, in the egg white, and it, it just has a little, I don't know, it's just not right, and you could tell by the smell, and anytime, if you're in doubt, you, what, throw it out. So there you have it, that's our great experiment. Looks like it works just fine. And I want to thank you for stopping by, and I want to thank you for um, watching and putting up with my amateur video videos stuff, <laughs> skill and lack of it. But, uh, you know, there you have it. And I do have a video somewhere. I'll try to find it and put it a link in the comments or something to where it is on when I actually did these. So I actually did these just, just almost a year ago put them in uh, the lime water and um, so we know at least a year if, if nothing goes wrong now you always have to leave a little room of course even a fresh egg could be bad I could bring in one of these and it would it, it could have gotten a small little crack and I've, I've found this before it would have a small little crack in the shell that I didn't notice because the girls are all fighting for the same nesting box and one might get rolled out and squished a little bit and I don't notice it till I go to clean it before I use it and then I see this little tiny hairline crack, and I'm like, mm, no, can't do that. But thank you for your time, and I hope you'll come back, and I hope you'll, you'll share, you know, the, the video link around and, and share it with your friends and, and tell people about it. And, and um, you know, all those thumbs ups and sh shares and likes and clicks and all that stuff that they, all the big people talk about. So, anyway... That's it for today. Thanks very much. I'd love to see your comments. Please do comment. Let me hear from you what you think. Mm -hmm.